One stormy night, two monsters sat to play a game of chess. A variation of the King's Pawn being opening <laughs> is what they played best. You'll see some forks and tactics well in this game between Frank and Drac. Frank will have the white pieces, and the Count shall have black. Good luck. Good luck to you too. Move pawn e4 tag center, said Frank with a grin. Drac replied, I'll move e5 and here we go again. Frank moves his bishop to c4, he plays aggressive quick. Drac brings his knight into the fight and moves it to f6. I guard my pawn with this move. And Frank moved his knight in a snap. You do indeed, but we will see if you fall into my trap. It may look like a silly move, but here is what Drac tried. He took the pawn and then looked on to see how Frank replied. For this position has a trick that Drac knows very well. If Frank's knight takes the move Drac makes, well, let's see if you can tell. Blaha. If you said pawn d5 with fork, well then my friend you're right. This is the center fork trick which wins material quick and can give your opponent a fright. <laughs> but Frank avoids the nasty fork and said to Drac, That's great. So he goes to the side, moves his queen to h5, and thus he threatens mate. The bishop here supports the queen and Drac can see what's going on. He quickly sticks his knight on d6 to defend the weak pawn. My move has a dual purpose. I did two things with one. I stop the attack, I fight back, and I make the bishop run. Blah! Ha, ha. Frank saw what was happening and moved bishop to b3. Now Drag's knight is stuck. He's out of luck because it's still checkmate if he leaves. I shall defend my little pawn, said Drac as he moved knight to c6. But Frank moved on, he's not after the pawn, but to remove the defender on d6. If knight not there, I get checkmate, Frank knew from games long gone. I go b5 with knight, he said with delight, and his plan was working on. This is called removing the defender, take the piece that's guarding something away. Frank wants Drac to take, but that would be a mistake, for then there would be a checkmate. Now Drac looked in trouble, it seemed that things were going to heck. He had to fight, or else Frank's knight could take his with Jack. Drac looked and thought and found a move to give Frank's queen a scare. Pawn 2 g6, block her quick and she'll have to run back there. Frank needs to move his queen, you see, or else she will get taken. Where do you think she should go? Tell me what you're thinking. Frank didn't want to stop his threat, so made the move that brought her back. The queen did flee, but to f3 and kept her focus on the attack. Your attack is just not stopping, it's hitting harder than this rain. I'll move f5, my pawns will survive if they stay in a pawn chain. <laughs> Drac stopped the queen's new angle, but Frank kept his attack alive. With the bishop she could make a battery, so the queen went to d5. Drac knew his knight was in trouble, for it was still his only guard. He had to think how to avoid that mate, and started looking hard. There are many moves that help Drac out, why well, there's probably more than 11. He made a spot for the king to hop, and moved queen to defend on e7. My position is hurting, but my move is good because it does more than one thing. I activate, avoid the mate, and defend several squares with my queen. Frank's plan to remove the defender was good, but now the queen was also there. So he thought on his studies and passed games with his buddy and looked at this position with care. Frank thought about tactics and remembered them well. He saw something he wanted to do. There's a powerful fork out on the board. He sees it, but tell me, do you? Yes, it is knight to c7. A fork is attacking two pieces with one. Drac's king is in check, so he must flee the threat, and Frank scoops up the rook. Oh, what fun! Why, this game is getting exciting. I'm having a frightful good scare. But oh dear, it appears the sun is rising, and I'm afraid we'll have to pause there. Don't worry about Drac, he's really quite fine, though in this position Frank may be winning. But it's not <laughs> over yet. When next the sun sets, we'll be back and you'll see Drac still grinning. So we hope tonight you have learned a bit about forks and removing defenders. And dual purpose moves are things you can do to make your chess games not be short enders.